Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama Japan. Now, Japan has a very large aging population. So, most of their population are turning into elders. Well, a part of that, of course, is going to be uh, medical. The medical field is bursting at the seams. Uh, they even uh, will hire foreign people who work in the medical field. Well, what about the people, the Japanese people? Well, they pushed and pushed and pushed for men and women to get into the medical field, and women answered the call, and they pushed and they pushed and they pushed for uh, Japanese women to enter the medical field as doctors. And a curious thing started happening. So high school, college, medical school, a residency, specialization. Men and women, right? Then the woman has a baby and she quits quits never comes back so this practice by women uh, exacerbated an already tenuous situation vis-a-vis uh, -vis, concordantly uh, some uh, universities uh, took it in upon themselves more than one took it upon themselves to actually surreptitiously lower the test scores of female applicants into medical school. Why did they did do this? Because for every woman, Japanese woman, who takes up a slot in the medical school, that means a Japanese man does not get that slot. Right? I'm explaining it to you. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm explaining it to you. Because the woman takes this slot, and the Japanese man doesn't get that slot, her quitting, 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 qu quitting, 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 quitting. All of those Japanese female doctors quitting, 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 quitting exacerbates the situation. So they literally uh, were called upon to do something. We can't tell them not to go to med school. We can't capture them there. We can't tell them not to specialize once they graduate. We can't tell them not to get a medical degree. We can't tell them not to get a medical license. And we can't tell them not to quit. So, let's get out our red pen and mark no. 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 Well, they were caught. And, of course, they suffered a, a, a complete loss of face. How dare you do this? But nobody addresses the real problem. And the problem is that women who are go into a lot of these scientific fields, from medicine to uh, computers to engineering to this, that, and the other, all scientific stuff that they keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And the women then get around men who are making uh, the upper echelons of money, the 1%. You know that the 1% is only somebody who makes $333,000 a year. That's it. That's the 1%. So once... Once these females are getting around men who make uh, upwards of $300,000 a year, uh, they get married, she has a quit kid, she quits. Why? Because he can afford it. 
but they keep pushing for these women to get into this. Um, and, and the problem is now, now you have this aging population literally without doctors. So there you go. There's the report. Tell me what you think. What's the solution to that problem? And that problem, like I said, is in engineering, it's in chemistry, it's in avionics, it's in uh, petroleum engineering, it's in, it's in uh, ro robotics, it's in everything. When the woman gets around a man who's in the 1%, it's in law. Lawyer, doctor, Indian chief, it's, it's, an, it's a, a corporate, big, huge, giant corporations, CEO, gets married, has baby quits. Never to return. How do you solve that problem? Thank you all for watching. Give me a solution below.